let's talk about propagation of waves wave propagation is any of the ways in which waves travel with respect to the direction of the oscillation relative to the propagation direction we can distinguish between longitudinal wave and transverse waves for electromagnetic waves propagation may occur in a vacuum as well as in material medium you can find a wave propagation over here and this is the direction of propagation and this is considered to be the rayleigh wave and this is the particle motion now let's see about waves and boundaries a wave boundary is a place where conditions change there's a question what a wave does at a boundary depends on the boundary condition it's nothing but a wave tends to interact with the boundaries in four different waves you can see here how it is getting to be reacting so this is the wind direction and you can find the upwelling currents over here and the waves or the boundaries is reacting and interacting based on that we can see the wave motions and how it is getting to be traveled refraction is one such example for wave interaction wave passes through a material and it bends you can see some example of wave refraction over here when this gets to be interacted with the material it is gets to be bent over here that is refracted diffraction is also one such example for wave interaction in diffraction the wave bends around or it goes through a hole in a material you can see here very clearly so this is the wave when it goes around through a hole you can see how it is getting to be reacted through this hole when a plane waves go through a small hole they become circular waves so before that it was a kind of normal plane waves after a pass through a hole we can find the circular waves over here so this is an example of wave diffraction and also absorption will also tends to have the wave interaction wave is absorbed by a material and it will disappear so if you see over here the waves are there and this is the region of the material you can see in dark blue color so the wave is observing a material and it is making the wave to disappear you can see the traces of how the wave is getting to be dispersed that is disappearing so the wave approaching a boundary is called the incident wave and the wave that sent from a boundary is called reflected wave and the wave that is bent passing through a boundary is called a refracted wave you can see here the incident wave the reflected wave and the total wave other than this boundaries that are not straight that can be used to change the shape of the wave fronts and therefore change the direction of a wave a sharp boundary creates strong reflections and a soft boundary absorbs wave energy and produces little reflection 